do I even start with this game? Dark Souls isn't your standard horror game. Hell, it doesn't even fit the tropes of the genre. Much like its predecessor, Demon's Souls, it is a brutal and unforgiving title that is not for the faint of heart. Dark Souls doesn't use pacing, tension, or atmosphere the way a typical survival horror game would. All of these exist in some form or fashion, but they are delivered in a totally different way. The pacing evolves from a slow plodding crawl in the early game to a running, slashing, and dodging ballet towards the late game. In both cases, Dark Souls punishes the impatient and rewards those who analyze each button press. You've memorized every enemy location, so it's not that you're scared to take the next step because you don't know what will be around the corner. It's the fear of knowing what that thing around the corner can do to you. The atmosphere in Dark Souls is unlike anything out there. You feel alone, fueled by the empty world of Lordran that you're dropped into and given no explanation. You wander the unknown in hopes of finding another soul that you can summon just so they can comfort you. Even the sound is empty. There is an eerie lack of music, dynamically coming in at the perfect high points, usually crescendoing into a boss fight. The sound design is spot on, with each footstep becoming a dreadful boom that forces you to frantically look around you. Finally, the stopping point, the tension that Dark Souls brings, eats at your being. It is a simple gameplay choice that defines what this game is. Dying. Losing everything and knowing that it was all your fault. You died is the most common thing you will see in Dark Souls. The fear of dying and losing all of your souls, spawning a fresh slew of enemies, and having to do it all over again is where Dark Souls gets me. Now here's a little short to give you an idea of what playing Dark Souls feels like. I leaned towards the opening in the cell. Someone or something had opened. Maybe it was fate or chance, but I knew I had to get out of here. I inched forward and crept out of that cell, shield up, covering everything but my eyes. Not my proudest moment, but the sounds would make any man break. I moved down the hallway, desperate arms grasping for hope, forcing me to the edge. I'm careful not to look at the black gaping hole. One misstep would bring me back to the spirit world. I raised my sword, wishing it was a torch, begging for more light. Every cell is littered with bodies, or those soon to be corpses. The acts that have happened here should never be seen by anyone, even a hero. In the distance I can hear their bells, tiny clangs that seem to vibrate off the walls and resonate through my skull. I stop. I can see the lantern dangling in the distance. The light moves slowly through the air. I tighten my grip on the hilt of the blade, backing away from the faint globe. I step on a rock and the floor cracks beneath me. The lantern jerks towards me. The movement becomes jarring as it twitches, growing in size with each step. My weapon is useless. I have to get out. I move to the closest cell, but it is a dead end. I run along the corridor to find another broken floor, and then it hits me. I cannot move. My shield falls to the floor. I can only feel it grab the back of my head. Then all goes dark. I have died. <laughs>